Hey everyone, this is Rob again with another uh, reaction to another sleazy 80s horror movie. Today I'm going to be reacting to My Bloody Valentine, the original, not the remake, because I saw the remake in theaters, and when I was doing my little search, I found out that Tom Atkins was in that remake, so I may need to go back and do a rewatch on that one. At work today, they were promoting National Cookie Day. So I picked up two six packs, chocolate chip, and peanut butter, and my roommate already ate three of them. And I was gonna do this gimmick where I was gonna eat a whole cookie for every kill in the movie. There can't be more than 12 kills in this movie, but now there's gotta be nine, and I may just abandon the whole shtick. I mean, I'm still gonna be munching on cookies for sure, but I can't, I'm, I'm not gonna, fucking eat nine cookies for nothing so any of these other gazillion reactors out there can steal that gimmick eat a cookie for every kill in a movie next time national cookie day rolls around neil affleck ben's older brother zaza hey Still has great hair after taking that helmet off. I mean, I've seen the poster work and everything, and I know that the killer wears that, that like, uh, miner's mask. That is such a fucking dope, like, mask for a, a slasher in a killer movie like this. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> you saw that tattoo? He got, like, triggered. It's weird. I remember my days back in the the coal mines. It was a rough living. No, but really, call me like Beta or Pansy or whatever. I couldn't do this shit, man. Who want to? Shit sucks. This movie is so Canadian. I can already tell. He shot in like Alberta or something. Saskatchewan. Some cool ass cars there. Old school bug. I will eat a cookie because, you know, one person did die, so I'll slightly follow the rules. This one's a peanut butter cookie. Couldn't get a better Friday night. Cookies, my body Valentine. I mean, come on. Uh, this town goes all out for Valentine's Day, I guess. I can all lie, there's some schlubby looking dudes with some very pretty girls here. Might need to move to this town. Moosehead, Leo meme. If anyone hasn't had a Moosehead lager, that shit slaps. Kinda looks like that guy that was uh, a doctor on ER. If anyone knows who I'm talking about, leave it down below. That one, I think it's like, it's like a Russian doctor on ER. <laughs> Fucking heart, real heart in there. That's crazy. Not gonna lie. I played that game a couple times, but it was always like not cool. It was just super slow. Never got like. Da -da 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 -da. I know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. This town is accursed. Uh, oh, classic. Dance. Tell the old tale. The biggest event of the year. One man was found alive. Whoa. That's freaky. Jesus. Exactly one year later. They ate their bodies to survive? That's pretty gnarly. Who had left the post the year before. Then he cut out their hearts. It's already a great setup for a good slasher. 
You'll definitely be sorry. For sure. Very sorry. I'm not going to be making fun of the Canadian accent this whole time. I'm just poking, poking a little fun. Sure, Canadians could have a field day with some American accents out there. It looks like Harry Warden's back in town. Oh, no. Get off the table. What are you doing? Trying to eat the cookies. Get out of here. Again, I know the town is called Valentine, but, I mean, they go hardcore over Valentine's Day here. All the decorations and shit. Nice, like, POV here. It's gonna be, a, like, a tongue or another body part in that thing. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, jam. I mean, he is threatening looking, for sure. Pitchforker or something. Yeah. He didn't see it, but... It was still, it was still a good kill. You know, let's be honest. This guy on the left, this chubby dude with the stash, he's killing it. Absolutely killing it. Not like, like I think he's the slasher, but he's just styling. Just swaggy as hell. I kind of wish I was living these guys' lives. He's going to mines, you know, hang out in the junkyard all day, sip some booze, hang out with the boys. <laughs> Play the harmonica. I mean, this is. This seems like this is a dream. Man, look, you left. You left. You went away, and we didn't know where you went back. Okay, so I just yeah. So that guy is an ex of this guy's current girlfriend. So yeah, there's obviously tension there. Well, that's one of those things where we're doing a countdown of every day. Love it. Love it. All right, going for the chocolate chip cookies now, because I didn't eat one when uh, laundry mat lady died. Now, some people say chocolate chip cookie is the superior one. I disagree. Whoa. Peanut butter is better, but... Damn, this is a fucking good cookie. Upside down heart. All of them are upside down. Oh! <laughs> nice! I guess this is the uncut version, so the um, unrated clips are splashed in and they're not as restored as the original, so you can tell what the, the extra uncut gory scenes are, but damn, dude, that was, that was very cool. You remember, Mabel Osborne died of a heart attack and that's all. What? <laughs> Trying to cover it up? You tried to eat my cookies. I'll let you have a bite of the next one. If you're cool. That's the way it is. There'll be no dance tomorrow night and no parties either. I made so many I went to high school in Vermont and every summer we would go up to Montreal <clears throat> to um to sightsee. <laughs> Look, right. Give me a chance. It is a beautiful country, though. I love it up there. It's great. I uh, shouldn't be walking home alone. What are you doing? Heart attack, my ass. Listen to the old bartender, man. He knows what he's talking about. Thought I was about to eat another cookie. It has been a while since someone's died here. It's been like 15 minutes. You're doomed. You're all doomed. Another little, like, th this 
director is like a troll. With all these fake outs he's doing. That's like the security check. Yeah, seems secure. I'll bet you one cookie right now that it turns into the real thing. I'm already opening this shit up. Yeah, knew it. I'm eating it, but you owe me a cookie now. That shit was too obvious. This is clever though. Love those old school pinball machines. I have one in my apartment. I'll show it one of these days. Barely works though. Women who are good at pool, it's pretty hot. Ask any guy, they'll tell you that. So I watched Sleepaway Camp last month. If I see boiling water, I know you're going in there. Yep. Ugh. Such a rough way to go. This movie's cool though. I'm definitely digging it. It's a little bit mysterious. It's got some funny characters liking this, the schlubby guy with the stash. And the... The kills so far have been pretty top notch, man. Tell him. Tell me what. She wants to come back with me. Both just back. Ooh. You're acting like a cop. He's waiting for this to happen. Honestly, I'm kind of on the the new boyfriend side. Like, that's not cool to just come in and disrupt shit like that. <laughs> nice. I mean, it's just classic slasher. This is what, you know, I mean, when you put on a movie like this, this is what you want. Like, dumb teenagers. I mean, they all look like 25 at least. Just getting slashed up. And that's, it's delivering. So, yeah, this would not be my idea of foreplay. Oh shit. That is fucked up. Wow. Hell yeah. Oh my god, that was great. That was seriously like top notch kill right there. It's still a little bit of a who done it at this point. They're kind of setting up like the red herring to be this guy. But I mean, he's been at the party the whole time. Or maybe the red herring is the the new boyfriend, the blonde guy. That's I'm calling it right now. That's my pick for who the killer is. The new boyfriend. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I will eat two cookies. These little coal mining towns do not have women who look like this in them. I'm sure. Pretty damn positive. These are very attractive females in this bumfuck town in Canada. Does look like fun though. Yep. <laughs> Can't believe you work here. Like it's a big, impressive building. It's a fucking coal mine. Now they're teaming up together. That's kind of interesting. There's no possible way there's one comfortable spot in this mine to have sex in. Like, get out of here. Rat. Come on. Let's go find Mike and Harriet. 
and get out of here. But I just realized now, the ex-boyfriend and the current boyfriend are both wearing the Harry Warren getup. But how would that make sense? Because he was already dressed up that way before they... They were already at the party and... Nah. Can't be either one of those. What is she wearing? It's all unbuttoned up. Again, pretty tense here, guys. Like a drill through their back or something. That was my favorite character, too. Damn. We need you to believe it's the the current boyfriend. That may seem too obvious. Oh my god. Well, look who shows up. Yeah. All in all, I'd say partying down the Haunted Mines was probably not the best idea. You know it'd be cool if one of these females just came out of nowhere and just hacked like the, the main killer in the face and saved the day. That would be cool. Probably not going to happen, but that would be cool. Whoa! <laughs> Go back down. Change plans. Quick to abandon people, I guess. Huh. See, maybe we're leading up to the the heroines of the movie saving the day. I would be all for that. Oh, wow. Whew. Why are you always popping up in suspicious moments, bro? Uh, okay, so we know it's not... That guy. Oh, this could be cool. This could be very cool. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's the... It's the blonde haired guy. Got some fisticuffs here. Going after it. Fuck around, break this whole mine down, collapse on themselves. Uh, yeah, so called it. Not surprised. I mean, I'm I'm good. <laughs> that wasn't very hard to call. It was kind of obvious towards the end there. Oh no! <laughs> That's messed up, dude. Okay. That was uh 
Very creepy ending there. Wow. Alright, well, just got done watching My Bloody Valentine from 1981, and I was thoroughly impressed with that. I mean, granted, I watched the uncut version, and like I said earlier, you can tell when they splashed in the, the moments of gore that were cut from the original theatrical cut, I guess. But uh, watching the uncut version, I mean, that shit was pretty fucking dope. <laughs> like, really cool kills. And beyond that, I thought um, some of the characters were cool. I liked uh, the, the chunky dude with the stash. Thought he was cool. He had, he had the probably the hottest <laughs> female woman. I want to be PC. The hottest woman in that movie was his girlfriend. So goals. I thought that there was a nice little mystery going on there. Although I thought it was kind of obvious towards the end who was the killer, and the motive seemed a little janky and kind of thrown together at the end. But uh, still. Totally entertaining movie and recommended that Scream Factory disc I bought. I think it's like, you can get it for like 20 bucks on Blu-ray. It comes with a nice slip cover. It's got great DTS score. Uh, it's a bunch of extras. I'd like to dive into those. I might do that tonight. But yeah, My Buddy Valentine. And like I said, I'd like to uh, rewatch the remake because I saw that one in theaters. What was that like over a decade ago now so that'd be fun to rewatch let me know what your thoughts on my buddy valentine the original is in the comments and if you have any other recommendations or suggestions please leave them down below i'll read them picked a bunch of other movies that random people have recommended so leave a title down below i'll look into it and like and subscribe if you liked it if not that's cool and stay safe please and eat cookies on national cookie day because um uh, there's a hair on this it's still probably good because why not all right bye